Hey everyone, this is Brittany with Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge and I hope you're super excited for today's activity. It's our first one of the week and it's a really fun craft. We're going to be doing some nature painting. And the only things that you're going to need from inside the house are some soap, dish soap, some food coloring dye, and then a canvas, whether that be paper, cardboard, a canvas board, if you have that, uh, you're going to need those as well. And then I also have a glove here just because I don't want to get this food coloring dye all over my hands. And then everything else is coming from nature. Uh, your paint is made using mud. Uh, so you want to grab some dirt if you didn't get any rain last night and you want to throw some water on it. And you want to make it the consistency of what paint would, the consistency of paint. Uh, so add more water until you get to that perfect consistency. Uh, you want to make sure there's not any roots or leaves or clutter in your mud to the best of your ability. And then your paintbrush is actually going to be things of nature as well. So for today I have an iris leaf. I have a dandelion. I've got a leaf and some catkin from a tree. I'm going to try these out and see how well uh, these work as paintbrushes. But you can use things like grass and you can tie a bunch of blades together with a rubber band. Uh, you can use sticks, you can use whatever else you find laying around your yard. Try all kinds of different things because you may find the most amazing nature paintbrush ever out there. So we're going to dive on in. I'm going to show you how to make this mud not look like mud. Uh, this is pretty good consistency right here for your paint. Now you're going to add some food coloring to it. So. I'm just going to take and scoop out some of this red food coloring and then I'm going to stir that in and you just keep adding food coloring until your mud gets to a different color other than brown mud. You'll want to add a little bit of dish soap. There you go, and that's kind of a reddish purple tint to it right there. Um, and that's what I'm going to stick with. And I've already got some blue made up. And let's see what it looks like when we start using our paint brushes. Alright, so now that I have my paint mix together, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing a pretty picture with my mud paint and my cool things of nature paint brushes. So let's see, I'm going to use this dandelion right here. And I'm going to make a little circle right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my iris leaf right here. I'm going to I'm going to try and make a flower. Alrighty, and there is my finished product. It's a um, flower, and you can also look at the back side. You can see your pretty blues and red right there. Uh, but then you'd set this out to dry. But I hope you enjoyed today's craft. Uh, send us some pictures of the cool pictures you do with the things of nature. I'd love to see how creative you got and what techniques and tools you use to create your pictures. So I will see you next time.